i.e. Bishop's Mitre. So it's called the mitral valve. This is a valve that you often see in what is called a prolapsed valve. You see the interventricular septum, the trabeculae carni. You can see here the aortic semilunar and the pulmonary semilunar. There's some coronary vessels that we'll show you in a while. Some major blood vessels here. I'm staying with the internal structure. This rough wall appearance is called the pectinate muscle. And there's, some, there's a green structure here. The green structures are probably beyond the test. What I'm giving you right now, the pathway of contraction starts with the sinoatrial node, then goes to this little structure inside that is a atrial ventricular node which has a small branch coming off of it right here called the bundle of his. That bundle of his splits off to become the right bundle branch and the left bundle branch. When they reach the apex of the heart, they reflect back and upon reflecting back, they are called perchinges. Fibers. And believe it or not, we'll go over that in lecture. Any relation to Purkinje cells? What? Any relation to Purkinje cells? Of the Sarah Bellum. 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 Yes. Thank A you. very good relationship by the anatomist histologist. Mr. Purkinje. Dr. Virginia. Very good. Now, it is true that in the sciences, we often want you to learn, instead of the eponyms, the structures upon the, that have the name uh, a bundle of his or Purkinje's cell. That structure was named for the person. That's sometimes called an eponym. We want sometimes a more descriptive anatomical name. The problem is you're going into the healthcare field. 99% of all procedures have the name of the doctor who are named after the person who first came out with that procedure. That's okay. right. <clears throat> so we in the basic sciences, and remember, this is about as basic a human anatomy and human physiology class that you can take. In fact, if you're a biology major,